Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to get everything set up to start working with C++. So in order to start working with C++ and start writing programs and doing all that fun stuff, we actually have to do a little bit of setup. We're actually gonna need two things on our computer. The first thing we're gonna need is a text editor. And we're basically just gonna use this text editor in order to write our C++ programs. Any text editor is gonna work. Generally, you don't wanna use a text editor like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. You're gonna to wanna to use just like a basic text editor. It could be something like Notepad. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a special text editor called an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. And we can use that text editor. Uh, and it's basically just a, an environment that's really awesome for writing uh, C++ code. Um, and then we're also gonna need, in addition to a text editor, we're gonna need a program called a compiler specifically a C++ compiler. And this is a program that'll basically take the C++ code that we write and it will translate it or transform it into a language that the computer is gonna be able to understand. So as long as we have a text editor and we have our C++ compiler, then we're ready to start programming in C++. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get all that set up. First thing we're gonna do is head over to our browser and I'm over here on this website called Codeblocks. It's just www.codeblocks.org. And Codeblocks is what's called an IDE. So it's an integrated development environment. It's essentially just a special environment, special text editor that can be used to write uh, C++ code. So this is gonna be exactly what we need. I'm just gonna click Downloads over here. And you'll see there's a few options. One says download the binary release, download the source code. We're gonna click download the binary release. And this is gonna bring us to uh, this page. You can see there's a link over here for Windows, XP, Vista, 7, 8, etc. And there's also links for Linux and Mac. Let's click on this Windows option. And over here, you'll see there's a bunch of these different options. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download this one over here that says Codeblocks 1601 min GW setup. And actually what's cool about this is it's going to include not only the code blocks text editor, but this is also going to include that C++ compiler that I was talking about. So we can download both of those things in this one download for code blocks. So this is the easiest uh, way to do this as a beginner. So let's go ahead and download this. I'm just gonna come over here and click on this link for SourceForge, and this should start downloading the file onto our computer. When Codeblocks is finished downloading, let's go ahead and open that up. So I'm just gonna head over to my downloads folder and we can open that guy up. So you can see over here, it says Codeblocks 1601 MINGW setup. Let's open this and this should open up into an installer window. So let's click through this installer window and we can just select all the default options and this should start installing Codeblocks on our computer. So once Codeblocks is finished downloading, then we have everything we need on our computer to start writing in C++. And you can see over here, I just opened up Codeblocks. And the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to set up your first Codeblocks project and get started writing C++. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.